A man recently took to social media to express his curiosity regarding the notable presence of foreign workers in numerous restaurants across Singapore. On an online forum, he asked, How do so many restaurants have so many foreign workers? Is there really a possibility that they have that many Singaporeans working at some back office to suit the quota? He also shared his experience of visiting a ramen shop, where he noticed that the employees were mostly foreigners except for one Singaporean. He mentioned that the cook was Japanese and the wait staff were likely from Vietnam or Cambodia. Are they all PR? Or maybe married to a Singaporean somehow? Could it be that many who marry local? I'm also asking because I want to open a cafe and I cannot wrap my head around this grinning face with sweat also don't have any close friends who work in FNB to ask invasive questions to. I myself have worked in FB for seven years, now in a small takeaway business and I am only eligible to get one foreign worker. In the comments section, several Singaporean Redditors, who claim to have worked at small accounting firms or as auditors for FB companies, shared their insights. One of them said, many FB outlets have skeletal crew. This means they have many Singaporean citizens on their payroll who don't work at the company so that they can hire more foreigners. Another commented, I can confirm. I have been an auditor for five years with a large portfolio of FB companies. Phantom employees are the actual term. A third Redditor explained that certain restaurants and eateries, especially those where the parent company is from overseas, can freely hire foreign staff such as cooks, chefs, wheat staff, and kitchen staff without adhering to local quotas. This is because all the foreign staff are on training visas. This I know for sure, the Redditor affirmed. But I've also noticed that it's only for certain nationalities, so I suspect it's linked to bilateral trade deals. Conversely, others conjectured that these restaurants or businesses may have positioned themselves as factories, taking advantage of the fact that the manufacturing industry normally obtains a larger quota for foreign labor than the service industry. One Redditor said, it's more tedious to register as food manufacturing factory than a cafe or restaurant, but then you get to employ way more foreigners. Companies that you know they have way too many foreigners and have a central kitchen. Very likely do this. On top of contributing to ghost employees and manipulating salaries under different companies, overall they get so so many foreigner quota. As per the Ministry of Manpower MOM. The foreign worker quota for the services sector is the lowest among all sectors at 35%. On the other hand, the manufacturing sector has a quota of 60%, the marine shipyard industry has a quota of 77.8%, and the process and construction sectors have quotas of 83.3%.